come to Bowser Training and Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Moreover, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here, which contains a lot of useful information. And uh, today we're going to talk about this subset 2, which is continuation of subset. Uh, feel free to check out the code where we write for subsets using a very classic DFS solution. So here, the only difference is in this in this list, there could be duplicate element. So and then they don't want you to output a duplicate. Well, of course, the first way you can do is basically using a set to dedupe this list. Um, a list is only two lists are only equal as long as they contain the same number of elements and then with the same order. Um, that definitely we can do. However, that requires extra space. So for us, we can just easily you know, just uh, using this method to, to detube it. So let's copy paste the code right here. Let's see, let's dedupe, okay. Okay, and then this. I think it's gonna be the same, except for example, this is one, two, two. So you have first one, one, two, one, two, two, everything is good. But now here, after this two is pop out, you want to index increase. So you will, you will hit another one, two, which, which is already duped that you don't want. So basically here is when you pop out this two, um, the next index, when you're trying to increase, you have to compare because your current index is here, right? So, and then when you compare this guy, so you, you will always want you to make sure that it's not equal to the previous one. So your index i and then i plus plus is this one is not equal to the, to, to the previous one so that you can, you can skip those duplicate ones. For example, while i plus one is less than numbers also, you make sure you are always bounded so that you don't throw uh, array index out of bound, array index out of bound exception, and numbers i plus one if it equals numbers i. So that means, uh, just as we talk about, so this one is always less than this one. You just skip it. So you just I plus plus. So now your I is at here. Now when your I is here, you're trying to plus it plus it will just be a re index out of bound. So this one will be just skipped. So now your I is here, so you're checking you're trying to your I is here, right? So then you pop up this guy. And then i plus 1 is 2, right? i plus 1 is less than this. And then number of this, which is 2, you compare 2 to 1, OK? Are they the same? No, they're not the same. So basically, you break out this loop. So all else will be the same. So you're going to skip this one as well. So if, for example, if this is a 1, so you compare 1 to 1, they're the same. So now your i will be skipped increased okay yes so the time complexity is still exponential for this question 